is there a stigma around being a top or a bottom? Because like, there are conversations about is either inviting. or. Are the girls okay? <laughs> Tops and bottoms. Here we go. Tops are. Sh- no, I'm kidding. I don't know. I mean, I do know, I guess. Do you know? You just don't want to say? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's almost like men and women fighting, for lack of a better way to put it. Okay. So, like, sometimes I'll be with, like, other guys who are identified as more on the bottom side, and we'll all have a good time, and then, like, a top will come along, and we all want to them, because tops are typically stupid and annoying. Really? But maybe that's just me being a p- power bottom. I don't know. Maybe that's why I view them that way. Because I'm like, you're just a pole. You okay. are an object. You are something for my pleasure. And then you can leave. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Tell the audience, for those who may not know, what a power bottom is. Power bottom is um, someone who can take really big and who's also a little bit of a c- which is me. <laughs> Probably a little too much of an inflated sense of self. I mean, do you think that you have to say that word power bottom because people automatically associate being a bottom with being submissive probably and like also like sometimes like people will use the word bottom as like a slur like you little bottom and i do it too sometimes but just to my friends mm-hmm. but like like you're just a bottom who can't host like you know just stupid <laughs> shit like that but i think just like you know it's a masculinity femininity kind of thing 